Welcome to day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas, how quickly this is flying. My name is Kim Sell, Emotional Mastery, and I've been talking about how we can set ourselves up for better success in 2021. Yesterday, I was talking about making sure you had support. Today, I want to talk to you about celebrating the wins that you have. This is an area that I'm not so good at, but um, it's something I want to do more of. And I've already started on that process. Um, for those of you who um, are on my newsletter or already in my circle, you will know that I've been, um, I've sent out a recording manifesting magic and miracles this year um, for January. It's a little experiment just to see, um, you know, whether listening to something for 30 days will make the changes or start the changes that we need. If you've not got that and you are interested, um, the experiment won't end dead on 31st of January. My plan is to continue in some way. So do reach out by just dropping me your email um, to me, kim at kimsearl.co.uk. So the idea of manifesting magic and miracles is about being aware of the good things in life. Training your unconscious mind to start to pay attention to all the wonderful things that are around you because up until now, your unconscious mind has been filtering what you, you get to pay attention to based on your learnings. And one of the things that I tend to do um, is that when something goes well, that's a tick in the box. Great. Move on to the next thing. I do not give myself time to acknowledge the effort that it's taken me and possibly those around me to get to that point. Now, because I'm talking intention, so I'm talking a longer game here, I'm talking about making sure that you're doing what's important to you. Depending on what it is, this could mean a fundamental shift in who you are and how you live. So it's really important that you are recognizing and appreciating yourself on the journey, because this is all just a journey that you're on. Yeah, how do I do that? Well, the first thing is you've got to notice when you have a, a small win and the first reward might be as simple as a smile and an acknowledgement to yourself. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Maybe, and I would recommend this, you write it down because one of the things that I'm going to do next year is to be more specific about what went well for you. If, you, if you'd watched day one, I was just very general about you celebrating you in 2020. 2021 is about you celebrating specific wins and, I, and, and seeing just how much you have done and achieved because we lose sight of it. So fully recommend that you write it down and um, you know have a jar, <laughs> a jar of wins. In fact, I'm gonna do that straight after this call. So how can you reward yourself? Um, it doesn't ever have to be anything big. Um, for some people, it might be um, going out for a walk. It might be that you're going to um, cook your favorite um, dish. It might be that you do something on your one of your hobbies. Unplug, join up with friends. The list is endless. Um, I, I quite like a bath and candles and a book. So we all have something different, um, but choose something. Have a selection of things that you can do for you when you've, got, you've succeeded at something. And it can all be relative, can't it? I read somewhere that somebody, when they got to the end of the week, they made sure they had a day off booked in. Um, or I think it might be the end of month, apologies, end of the month, and they make sure they book a day in for themselves to do whatever it is they want. How fabulous is that? So I want you to make a list today of those things that you're going to do for your wins, the small and the big, just so that you don't have to think about it. You can just make a note of them and then make sure you get it. 
So Kim Searle, Emotional Mastery, I'll talk to you tomorrow about measuring that success. Thank you.